Fujifilm X-T5 for photography. I already made multiple videos about this camera, reviewed it at launch, after using it for a long period of time, made tutorials about video settings and other things, but today I just want to talk about the photography part. How good is this camera for photography from someone that makes money using it and share a couple of tips that might help you. Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Dima, I am a professional travel photographer and video maker and today I am going to tell you my opinion about the Fujifilm X-T5 when used for photography. It's been more than a year since I got the X-T5 and the most important thing about the X-T5 and the thing that made me sell my Nikon Z7 II and use the X-T5 as my main camera is portability. The weight and size combined with the lightweight selection of Fujifilm lenses makes this camera one of the best for travel photography and when I say travel I mean landscape, cityscapes, street and much more. And for this type of photography size and weight are very important but I also wanted a high resolution sensor for my work. It's a preference and something I got used to because I used cameras with high resolution for many years. The Nikon D810, D850 and the Z7 II. And I am saying it is a preference because people are going to try and sell you this as something you need, but you don't. First figure out what type of photography you want to explore and then decide for yourself if you need a high resolution camera. And this process takes time, so start with something cheap first. When it comes to the big question, is there a difference between 26 megapixels and 40, the answer is a bit more complicated than what people think. If you've taken two raw photos with no editing and look at them side by side, there is no big difference. But when you start using the raw file, like many of us do, and add a bit of sharpness, contrast and structure, you will see a bigger difference when it comes to details. We all edit photos, but not many want to say they do. It's like adding sharpness to a photo has become a sin. The X-T5 RAW files need sharpening to look their best. Why? Because of diffraction and pixel pitch. The Fujifilm RAW files act differently than the RAW files from other companies. Actually, if you use Capture One, the structure option is your best friend when it comes to making those details look as they should. Just leave the sharpness as is and add a bit of structure. Yes, using Fujifilm cameras needs more dedication and work, but for me, the results are worth it. I love the photos I got over time with Fujifilm cameras. Yes, using Fujifilm cameras can sometimes be frustrating. They are far from perfect, but the X-T5 checks so many boxes that interest me more than other cameras. I recently bought a Nikon ZF because Nikon was my first love and the ZF looks like my second film camera that started everything. It's a great camera, but I prefer the photos I get with the X-T5 more. When it comes to dynamic range and low light, I find the X-T5 very capable in both regards. Actually, the dynamic range is quite impressive for an APS-C sensor. And regarding low light, if you use an f1.4 lens, you should be very happy with your results. This video is not for people that want to shoot weddings. If you want a tool, Sony is the best option now. Another thing I like about the X-T5 is that you can customize the hell out of it. I don't even remember through how many combinations of settings I've been through since I got the camera, but one thing is certain, I enjoy doing this. I like to have control over everything on my camera. The thing that Fujifilm did well on this camera is power management. The camera is great at saving battery life. They said they optimized power consumption and it actually shows compared to the X-T4. I rarely use the second battery I have with me in one day and I love that about the X-T5. Let's talk about lenses. If you want to get the best details and contrast in your photos, you need great glass. But keep in mind, as I said in other videos, no photo won a contest for sharpness. This is more of a preference. 
The best lens to use with the X-T5 at the moment for almost any type of photography is the Viltrox 27mm f1.2 Pro. In my opinion, it is sharper than most Fujifilm lenses, but Fujifilm also offers a great lineup of lenses, including this one here, which I use almost daily for street photography, the 33mm f1.4 LMWR. All new Fujifilm primes are great combined with this sensor, and I really love the 23mm f2. I think that lens is a must have if you want a compact setup that doesn't sacrifice image quality. Tell me in the comments what are the lenses you use the most with your Fujifilm camera. I know for some people the grip on the X-T5 is not a good fit, I have medium sized hands and I really like the grip and the thumb rest on the X-T5. I use this camera from morning to midnight with a wrist strap many times and my hands never got tired. When it comes to the X-T5 I prefer this screen because I use this camera mostly on a tripod or for street photography and this is the best screen for that. A thing I would want in the future from Fujifilm is more responsive menus. Using the Nikon ZF is blazing fast and going back to the X-T5 and its menus feels a bit slow. But the dials, aperture rings on lenses and multiple function buttons make me forget this and enjoy the camera more than others. Autofocus. For my needs on the X-T5 is more than enough. Yes, I missed some photos because the autofocus is not the best on the market, but the number of photos I lost because of this is negligible. And that makes it good in my opinion. I am tired of hearing about the autofocus battle. Yes, Sony has the best autofocus on the market. I am still not going to buy one. What I learned in my many years as a photographer is that you need to enjoy the camera you use and so far I enjoy the Fujifilm X-T5 the most. When I will need a tool to take thousands of photos a day, I will get a Nikon Z8 or who knows, a Sony. But until then I want to use a camera and I choose the Fujifilm X-T5. The Fujifilm X-T5 is one of the best cameras you can buy at the moment if you are interested in photography. It is a very capable camera, but the results will always depend on you. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I release new videos. And if you want to support the channel even more, use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.